In this video, I'll help you to answer frequently asked Excel interview question. How to split full address data into street and zip code using Microsoft Excel. One of the coolest features available in Excel is the Power Query split columns. For example, you might notice that purchaser's address contains street information as well as the zip code. And this data is separated with the slash. To convert it into two separate columns, you need to first convert your data into the table. To do that, you need to select the data first. You can select the first cell and then click Control shift end to get to the last cell of this data range. Then you need to navigate to Insert, Table. It asks you to confirm the range that you are trying to use. Click OK here. And now data is converted and you can use Data tab to transform data from existing table or range. You click From Table Range button. This launches Power Query. And what you need to do, you need to uh, look at the Purchaser's Address column, select it, and then use Split Column option in the Power Query. Since we know that the slash is the delimiter for your uh, purchaser's address information, you click by delimiter. I added two spaces in the beginning and at the end of the splash. Now you click OK and you see that Excel created two columns. One column contains purchaser's address and another column contains zip code. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. For links mentioned, make sure to check the description of this video. To learn more on the topic, Make sure to check my ebooks and online training courses. All the best on your interview and Excel assessment test. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.